The Indian Air Force chief undertook a two-day visit to frontline air bases under the Western Air Command, during which he reviewed the operational readiness on the bases, and he also interacted with the air warriors serving on the front lines, and he also undertook a sortie with the Apache squadron. The indigenous light combat helicopter is equipped with crash-worthy and self-sealing flexible rubberized fuel tanks, which have been developed and manufactured by the British firm GKN Aerospace. Under a transfer of technology from the British firm, Hindustan Aeronautics has inaugurated a fuel tank manufacturing facility for the indigenous light combat helicopter, and this development comes at a time when Hindustan Aeronautics is all set to receive the order of 15 limited series light combat helicopters. The indigenous advanced self-protection jamming pod developed by the DRDO is set for production, and as per latest tender documents, a total of eight prototypes will be developed for final rounds of flight testing that will be done in collaboration with the Indian Air Force on its Su-30 fighter jets. The advanced self-protection jamming pod will address advanced and emerging aerial challenges using the latest digital software-based and active electronically scanned array technologies, and will provide enhanced airborne electronic capabilities to disrupt deny and degrade enemy air defense systems and ground-based communication systems. The advanced self-protection jamming pod will be used on board the Su-30 and MiG-29 new PG fleet initially but will also find its way in medium-weight fighter and Tejas Mark 1A fleet as well. The Deputy Chief of the Indian Air Force Air Marshal Sandeep Singh has said that the Air Force is looking at leasing 30 trainers and light utility helicopters for a short duration till the indigenous platforms that are currently under development are ready for induction. The recently released Defence Acquisition Procedure 2020 allows leasing of military platforms, and the Indian Air Force is in the process of sending out requests for information for leasing these much-needed platforms. The Indian Air Force is already exploring options of leasing six A330 mid -air refueling aircraft for a period of seven years, with an option to buy the refuelers at the end of the lease period. The Vice Chief of Indian Navy has said that the Navy is looking to lease operational support assets and auxiliary vessels that will fill the critical operational capabilities and also avoid huge investments in buying and maintaining these platforms. The Indian Navy is in immediate need of minesweepers and light utility helicopters, and the Navy is also looking to lease few Predator B drones for maritime operations and surveillance aircraft. The Director General of Israel Space Agency has said that the Israeli Space Agency is working on full-scale development of electric propulsion and will demonstrate its 100% electric propulsion system by launching it on a small-sized satellite of the Indian Space Agency in the next three years. An electrically powered spacecraft propulsion system uses electrical and magnetic fields to change the velocity of a spacecraft. Thank <laughs> you.